Hello my friends, it's Jeff here from Camp Quarantine, getting ready to do another little drawing for you. And today I thought it would be fun to deem it Western Day, and who better to draw on Western Day than my very own Tracy slash Holiday. So let's get right into it. Ear in first. The top of your eyes lines up with the top of the ears, and the bottom of your ear lines up with the bottom of your nose. Just a good little guideline to follow. Hope you can see that. So let's see, I'll draw that darker for you. There's your ear, the shape of the face, and then you've got a line that comes from the top of the ear, a line that goes to the center of the face. She's going to be turning her face a little bit, and a bottom that goes to the bottom of the nose. That'll help you line up your, your features. So I'm going to put that in the background lightly and draw on top of that in black. Okay, so she's got her hat on. So first I'm just going to start with her eyes, her big beautiful eyes. I'm going to change my brush to an inking pen. Tracy has big, beautiful green eyes with long lashes. She loves her long lashes. She's got big, cartoony eyes. And I'm going to leave a little circle here for a highlight and color around that. And that'll give you a nice reflection in her eye there. Just a little eyelid here. Okay, then we're going to do some eyebrows up here. I'm going to go a little away from my original drawing and make them a little higher up. Like so. And then we're going to follow the round, the curve that we have going from the eyebrow here down and kind of follow that around we're just going to do a little bit of the nostril and the tip of her nose there. All right. Now we're going to do her smile. Like so, bottom lip. And we're going to do just a little bit of her gum line there and a little bit of her teeth line. You don't really have to draw lines where her teeth are because the white is where the teeth are. If you draw too thick of a line there it starts to look like white trash or something. A little bit hillbilly. We, the spacing's too far apart there. We're going to do some curly curly hair. A little bit of her ear showing there. Maybe another strand of hair coming down on the side. She has very curly, wavy, beautiful hair. Dark, dark hair. And then bring that down. We're going to bring her... Let's start up here. Oops, see? I already forgot about her hat. Her hat's going to go over her hair there. So we're going to get the side of her face to her cheek. Bring her chin here. Bring her hair down here. Maybe her shoulder coming up. And a little bit of her outfit down here. Her neck. Maybe a little choker with a little something there. She has amazing costumes. A little bust there. Some more hair. Now we're going to get into her hat here. There's lots of different shapes of hats. You can kind of do what you want, but this is pretty much the style she usually wears. Do a flower. There we go. 
Now let's make sure all our lines are cut. I'm going to do a little color on this one today for you. All right, everything's pretty much closed up. Let me erase this a little bit here. Clean that up a little. Yeah, maybe a little eyelashes here. There we go. All right, oops, forgot this. What do you think? Pretty cute. I'm gonna thicken that up just a tad. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn off these underneath layers. I'm gonna add another layer under that. Let's see here. She has more of a reddish complexion to her skin. All right, now let's see. I've gotta set this as my reference layer so that I can just fill in underneath it with my dot. Oops, there I go again. Gosh dang it. Oh, that's way too dark. Mm. It looks good on the thing, but then when you fill it in, it's too dark. That's better. Whoops, see? That line is not closed there, so I'm just going to color that in. I'm going to leave a little reflection there on her skin. I have to go out and paint Applebee's today. Applebee's is not doing great right now because of this virus thing, so I'm painting open for takeout or to-go orders and delivery on their windows. I've got 14 stores. I've got 12 to do. I've done two so far. So if you're out and about and you want to bring home some delicious food, they are open, just letting you know. They take care of me at Christmas time, so I'm helping them out. All right, let's do some. Whoops, let's do a little redder here. I don't know, I think it's too red. More pink. That's working. There we go. Tracy has pretty green eyes. Like that. Let's put some white back in there. Maybe a little bit of blue shade in it. And you want to leave that highlight open on her eye. I'm going to go back and fill in that line on this layer so that it doesn't, when I do her hair, it doesn't go all the way across her skin tone. That should be good. Now we're going to do it kind of a dark reddish brown so that we can see the lines. That's pretty good. Her hair is pretty much black. But I don't want to do it solid black because then I can't see my black lines. I just want to do it as dark as possible so that you can still see the outlines of the hair. All right, she's almost done. Just a fun little cartoon of my girl. Just gonna fill that in quickly. We don't get that white gap in those lines. I hope you guys are having fun with all these tutorials and sharing them with your friends. I'm sure other kids could use some entertainment, something to do during these times. Let's do a 
pinkish flower. Fill that in a little bit. And now let's do her hat in more of a brown, but dark, dark, almost black. Oops, maybe, just thinking maybe the hat band could be solid black. There we go. Now I'm gonna select this and fill in those lines. like that. Now, oh, her choker. Let's do a red choker. Like a dark red. With like a silver little button there or something. And there we have it. So what I wanted to do too is I wanted to do like a sunset. Let's do a big textured brush here in the background. Like the setting sun colors. That and then we're gonna add some yellow, make it a little lighter. So, there you go, and then I'm going to add one more thing, I'm going to use an airbrush, and I'm going to make it nice and bright in the middle, just kind of make it glow, like so, oops, our teeth are yellow now, that's no good, let's go back here, Make sure we're back on inking. Okay, we don't want her to have yellow teeth. She definitely doesn't have yellow teeth. There we go. And we want to save this little area here. You can even add some little highlights here and there. Just to make it look cool. A little lip highlight there. Oh yeah, and let's make her cheeks a little rosy. We'll use um, a nice soft airbrush, a smaller brush. That's too dark. There we go. Little nose, little red on the nose. Perfect. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of highlight with um, what brush do I want to use? I think this one. Just a little shine. Almost done here. Well, reflections here, maybe a little bit in her hair. Just a quick fun thing to keep you going today. I still haven't seen anybody post pictures of what they've done. I would love to see what you're doing. There. Maybe a little shading. Let's select this and make it a little darker. And we'll go in around behind her eyes and just add a little little eye shadow here. Yeah, that looks nice. Darken this in your ear here. Maybe a little shading under her chin. The shadow. There we go. There she is in all her glory. Well, you guys have a great day and um, share and subscribe to my little channel and I shall be doing more soon. Have a good one. See you soon.